None of this feels good. Even if I were decent. Even if I were, like, athletic somewhere, I don't think this would be good. And considering she doesn't know how to swim, it is extremely dangerous. Shit! Why'd I do that? How'd that happen? What the hell? Can I get back up there? Will you let me get back up there? Yeah, it looks like it. But, wow, I never remember doing that before. He just walked off. Oh my god. Joel, you're supposed to jump. What the hell is happening? Why am I getting so many glitches on this game right now? Oh my god, he's not jumping. <sighs> no, wait, no, no, don't load game. Load game's bad. Uh, restart encounter. See what happens from here. Yeah, he's not jumping across. There, what's happening with this game? Am I not pressing something? Good lord. Yes. What is happening? Okay. Looking this up. Last of Us. Joel. Not jumping. Okay. Great. Come on, jump. You're gonna catch Apparently, had to be sprinting to do it. See? You didn't even need me. And I felt like Let's I did that and thing. still didn't get it. But fine. Right. Ellie, you really should let Joel take the lead still. Don't get impaled again. We'd really suck if we got impaled again. Thank 
you for the concussion. Shit, get out. He's taking us both on a fucking trip. Swim, 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 swim. Got her. Still worth a watch. Hands in the air. She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air. Come on. He's giving CPR. Do you really think he's a threat while he's giving CPR? Asshole. Fuck the fireflies. Welcome to the fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. Lily. She's all right. They brought her back. You came all this way. How'd you do it? How the fuck did you come all this way? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up, and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to it. You yeah, assholes weren't exactly helping. We'll take care. I worry. Let me see her. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell you mean surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Someone else. There is no one else. So you were gonna show me where she basically Stop. Ellie I has to die for a vaccine but whatever it is you think to you're going possibly through, be made. Nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. And you're Why going to you kill her. This because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. March him out of here. If he tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift. Joel. I think Joel might be more insulted by that because a child's also a gift. Get up. But Marlene's gonna prioritize the vaccine said, over the life of a child. Considering he actually has been a father a and moment. is like a father to Ellie almost. Give me an excuse. In many ways. Which way? He's definitely going to prioritize the life of the child over the life of random people. Especially on the chance that it might not work. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. 
get why the dude even bothered cuz you know you're already dead Outside the doorway where I'm at. This is actually kind of a fun section. It's wanted destruction. It's still kind of fun. Ooh. And this is kind of why. Just plow through the dudes. Okay, actually, real quick. Another Molotov. I don't have enough for explosive. Where are you at? Fucking hell. Let me heal. Let me heal. Let me heal. Be good and let me heal. Now, boy. I'm not going for accuracy at the moment. It's not well. This is why I have multiple healing kits. This is how I prefer to play this section, which is basically everyone must die mode.
But considering they're letting a child die, I'm not too heartbroken about. Okay, let's do this and this. And up this because I don't think I'm going to get another five for the end of the game. So actually, El Diablo. So one of these. Maybe should have made another health kit, but I feel like I'll find more stuff. Like here's more stuff. Find enough for a health kit? Yep. Okay. Doing a good, I think. all three of them? Well, that's all three of them. <laughs> that was quick and easy and painless for me. Just that one dude. What else can I find here? Just keep moving. Nice going exit sign. Oh, okay. More assault rifle. Full on bottles. I don't know, I mentioned I want areas that can actually be still. This doesn't feel like an area that really can be of, hey, I can avoid killing anyone. taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home. Make a difference. And bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause. Or worse. Will not be in vain. Okay. I don't fully understand any of the medical jargon that was being said it basically to my mind boiled down to she's immune which makes her special because okay 
there's another note here. Marlene's journal. March 15th, we've come across the Utah border. In a couple of days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about the morale since Greg and Ta Anya us passing last week. It's good to hear, hear them laughing again. Robin came to me and said, thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd. Ellie never made it. Oh, damn it. I always want to hit down. March 23rd. Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see either old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful to just be alive. But right now, I want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th. They took... They look at me and I know oh, they're thinking that we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. But what was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My mom were being hunted by the entire Boston Battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? God damn it. I panicked. In the end, and I healed pretty damn quickly and my men were more capable than I gave them credit for. More than a, than a handful of survive of the army's attacks. I should have kept her with me. Instead, I handed her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed all of us. I am an incompetent grunt. April 24th. I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take any more, any of the stairs any longer. I know I, I can. No way I can stay here. April 28th. One of our scouts just radioed. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel, tunnel by the bus terminal. He think, thinks she might have had red hair. But he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon scout wand is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28th. When you're lost in darkness, look for the light. She's alive. Now they're running tests on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. So she left roughly by probably beginning of the year. So during the winter section, they were probably leaving Boston on their way to Utah. Because it has to take a length of time for them to cross from the East Coast to almost to the West Coast. Utah is almost on the other side of the country. It's not quite California, but it's not far off by comparison to Boston. Yeah, that's it. I'm coming, Ellie. Okay. These idiots think I'm not ready for them. However, I do not have enough Molotovs for them. At least not right now. Who was that? Came from over there. Oh, look at that. Looks like he didn't watch himself well enough. Okay. Oof. 
Wish I had more tossables. Assault rifle's so hard to control and doesn't do enough damage. Shoot it! There we go. Basically it's baiting you to shoot right now. <laughs> Good, you miss a lot. Like I do. Shit. Well, I got a hunting rifle too. I think that's it. Grab more ammo. Wheels. I don't feel like that would hold the door. That should buy me some time. Or if it does, it shouldn't. Marlene's recorder. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, uh, I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Okay, I'm still going to say hell to that. Granted, it does seem like Marlene didn't have much of a choice and understandably wouldn't. Because, hey, here's this potential cure that you've been talking about and it's here. Why are you saying no to this cure? So... Definitely questionable, but at the same time, Jesus. what are you doing? I won't let you take that. Don't come any closer. I mean it. Oh, 
Shut the hell up. No offense to them. Come on, Diego. I got you. I got you. Oh shit. Okay, wait. It's gotta be this way, right? There's not many other options. I got you. I got you. Come on. Tell me which way. Oh shit. Away from them. Good lord. We're okay. Granted, they're not gonna shoot me because I'm carrying her. And they can't risk killing her before the surgery. Okay, they'll shoot me in the back at least. As I hit the elevator, where it no longer matters. Can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. You know it. Look. You can still. The right thing here. She won't feel anything. No. are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. He's lying through his goddamn teeth. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. It's a news. Okay, let me get... Let this cutscene play out. <laughs> So, oh, is this definitely a gray area? Looks like we're walking. Or some sort of gray area of hay. Should be a straight shot through here. Alright. Because Marlene's yeah. right. 
Ellie would have wanted to sacrifice herself for the cure. But I think Joel's view of it is once she's a child and even if the world's shit, she hasn't had a life. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think uh, I could tell you would have been would have been good friends if you really would have liked her. I know she'd have liked her. Bet I would have. So it's but I also question if Ellie's commitment to just getting through with it wasn't also just due to the trauma that she experienced and not wanting to continue on. Uh, and like you said, can't do half measures. What is it worth if we don't go through with this? So, but it's... Further now. Oh. Uh, I've always agreed with Joel's choice. And people definitely have some mixed feelings on it because technically he's potentially doomed humanity for a selfish reason. He chose Ellie over the human race. And frankly, Come on. Hey, wait. Yeah. <sighs> Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you, no matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was the other point of contention of not only did Joel lie about the fireflies, but he also swore to Ellie that what he told her was true. And that's another point that people have issue with. If, at least a fraction, some portion of people, and it's not. But the reason Joel, for Joel lying about the fireflies and then lying again to say he swears that what he told her was the truth it was more so he knows if she knew, if it was contrary to that, then she'd just go off and potentially put herself in dangerous situations to run back to the fireflies. And if she didn't die on the way, she'd die when she got there. So, he, that line was definitely, along with the other line, was he's trying to keep her alive. And it is potentially also for very selfish reasons. Joel found something to fight for in Lily, I think. Because a lot of what he was doing prior just seemed like 
getting by, not so much living and surviving, he was existing in the world, but Ellie gave him something to fight for and to care about again, and he hadn't had that since potentially Sarah, and he may have one point of the contention between him and Tommy may have been him putting those feelings and needs to protect Tommy that he lost in not having to protect her. So I still love this game. I am happy. I am excited for part two. I'm excited and I'm glad that this is another completed game on the channel. You know, and hopefully I'll have more in the future. Thank you, and bye!